I'm working on a project at the moment where I really need to link these detail references to some details that I've created. So let's just zoom out and we'll have a look. Now I've already created my exterior details. That's these ones here. And we'll just have a look at these. Here they are here. Now they're not complete. I quite often set up my details before they're complete. But what I'd like you to notice is that when I select this detail, I've actually got the name of the detail here, the drawing number, just there. But I've also got the name here, uh, just because I find that easier. Often you'll end up with viewport one, two, three, and, and you'll end up with lots of viewports. So I've set up all of my details with names, which I quite like, which actually represent the label and, and they sort of suit what I'm trying to do. So when I go back to something like my section, and I go in here and I go, well, it's, now it's time to actually add all these detail references. So I click on this one here. This is one of my details. It's a detail call out. I'll just show you which tool I use for that one. It's this one here, the detail call out tool. So I just create one of those. They're really handy. In VectorWorks 2021, you can move this around really easily. It's, it's really cool now. So I've selected that. And over here, I can link this to a viewport just here link to a viewport but you'll notice I've got quite a lot of viewports now I know that this is my eaves if I start typing eaves in here you'll notice that it quickly finds my eaves detail so I found that by putting the names it made it much easier this is an external corner detail so external there it is there and it really speeds up my creating of these links this is a barge detail here so I'm going to type in barge and there it is. And quite often, all I need is the first few letters. This is my ridge. Oh, I spelt it wrong. Says so my ridge detail there. And you can see it makes it very quick for me to go around and actually put all my detail labels in. So let's exit that one. I think I've got another one that I need to do, which is oh, this is another detail. Let's have a look here. I've got this is my elevation. So I've got some details on my elevation. So I'll just update that. Let's have a look. So that should be my ridge detail again. Just type in the first few letters, select it. This is my barge detail. That's my barge. And so you'd notice quite often I can just get away with typing in just a couple of letters and it'll find the details that I want. This is my eaves detail. That one's there. That's also my barge over there. Barge. So it becomes really quick. Oh, just get rid of that detail reference. I don't need that one there. Delete that one. So you'll notice it becomes quite quick if I start going through that. Now, it would have been quicker, of course, for me to do one of these elevations and then come back to it. Uh, these are both the same detail. So this is an external, external corner detail. And so that should be fine. So that's a quick way to go through and to start to assign your detail references. These ones are already done. And of course, what I can do here is I could copy those ones. Once I've got those set correctly, I could copy those, go to my next detail, which would be this one here. And then I could paste those in. So that's quite a quick way of doing it once you've set them up correctly. I just thought it would be a quick way to show you how I've created these detail links. But the important trick here to remember is to name these accurately down here, barge detail and barge detail. And the reason for that is that if you leave this Let's just change this one here and we'll call it viewport 100. Let's just have a look here. So that's viewport 100. Now let's go back to have a look at my uh, elevations or my roof plan because it was my barge detail. So let's have a look here. This is my barge detail. And you'll notice that the first thing that comes up when I go barge, you'll notice that the first thing that comes up is the name at the bottom. So that can be quite hard to find what you're looking for. If you've got a long list like this one here, I find it very difficult to look down here and then read the second line, whereas I find it much easier to come down here and read the first word. And the first word, if we go back to that detail, this one here, the first word is this part down here where it says viewport at the moment. So I copy that and I paste it down there, just copy and paste with my keyboard shortcuts. And then that means that when I go to look for that detail again, so back to my roof plan, this one here, when I go here to look, you'll notice that the barge is now at the front. So it's the barge detail, barge detail. I know it sounds a little bit weird that you've got the name repeated twice, 
um, but this is the viewport name comes up first the detail number comes up last it's not what I tend to look for so that's how I tend to set up my detail referencing and I find that a reasonably quick way to do it and it makes it uh, easy for me to understand if you want to really improve your Vectorworks knowledge join my knowledge base find the movies you need but also attend regular monthly webinars where we can answer your questions thanks for watching